are many species, and uh, I'm convinced they have different agendas. Just like maybe the United States, Russia, China might have different agendas. So you, if you say, well, what do Earthlings think? Well, who are you talking about? Are you talking about the Russians or the Americans or the Germans or who? And um, I think there have been face-to-face -face meetings, probably with species who look very much like humans. And uh, some of them come from planets in our own solar system. And they are people who um, could be walking down the corridors of the Pentagon and would be unrecognized. Then there are other species, such as the, um, the greys, for example, which are very distinct in their looks. They're short. They have very large heads, very long arms, and uh, very big eyes. And they're more like the ones that we usually see in the cartoons of extraterrestrials. Uh, they're not little green men, which we used to say, little green men from Mars. But they're short, dark skinned, uh, of what they were designated as by the United States government, extraterrestrial biological entities, EBs. So the EBs, uh, that group of them, look very different. And they may have an agenda which is quite different from some of the others, uh, because there are different degrees of spirituality. And in the meantime, uh, the MJ-12, uh, this is the very small uh, elite group that President Truman <clears throat> set up to manage the um, extraterrestrial file and to report directly to the President. They allegedly made a deal with the, uh, with the Greys um, to exchange technology and to allow them to do a limited number, that's a joke to say, you know, but the deal was a limited number of abductions um, in exchange for technology. And that as a result of this arrangement, um, over the years, the United States has uh, managed to what we call back engineer or replicate. Uh, the extraterrestrial technology, both on the weapons side and on the transportation side, to the point where Dr. Stephen Greer, the witnesses, said about the flying saucers that you can't tell whether it's one of theirs or one of ours because they look so much alike. So um, they have made tremendous progress in 60 years and uh, they have developed very powerful weapons far power, more powerful than anything they had before and they have uh, according to Ben Rich who was the former head of the uh, Lockheed Skunk Works which was working on these kinds of uh, of vehicles, they now have, as he said, uh, quote, the capability of taking E.T. home. And so uh, when you say uh, happiness, I think you have to then say happiness between whom and by whom, uh, because uh, there's no carte blanche uh, single answer uh, uh, to that question. I know that there, there is some concern about one breed of reptilians and that maybe they have some connection with the greys, I don't know. 
But again, you can't, it's not carte blanche because there are many, there are branches of the reptilians. And there are allegedly some good, positive uh, creatures in this, with that name. But um, <clears throat> the United States, when it was briefing presidents, has always said that most of them are benign, but th there was one that wasn't. They've never named the one. No one's ever told me who it was. But I suspect they're talking about this one branch of the reptilians, who, if you wanted a nice way to sum it up, would represent the dark. And uh, on the other, on the other hand, uh, the, the people from uh, from Mars and, uh, and Venus and Saturn, who look more like us, uh, would be are more spiritual and who would represent uh, the light. So uh, it's not an easy question. No definitive answer because I don't know precisely what the answer is. I suspect no one knows 100%. When I say no one, I mean in no human in the realm of, uh, of authority. But there are certainly people in the United States cabal who have more information about the subject than any of the rest of us because they have been collecting it assiduously for years and years and they have probably had more contact with different groups uh, over a longer period than just about anybody else. So they're, they have a lot to disclose when we can get them to disclose it. But disclosure is essential. The information is there. It's in the public domain. But the cabal owns so much of the press, both print and electronic, that it's not going to get into the press that would convince him, like his own paper. And that is a problem.